Hi guys, today I'd like you to meet Snow Soft Kitty and she is incredibly soft. Her fur is silky, smooth. She's a new addition to add to your Webkins collection and she'll be available this October. She has this fluffy tail and these cute, cute bright blue eyes. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this Snow Soft Kitty on the loom and you're going to need a total of 140 bands, 54 total for the face if you just want to make the face charm, two blues for the eyes, two blacks, four pinks, two clear bands for the whiskers, and 44 bands for the rest of the head, and you'll need a total of 86 more bands to complete the kitty for the body and tail and everything. So let's get started. Let's first make the arms and the legs and it'll be real quick. I'll show you how to make one and you'll have to pause the video to make three more. Taking a single band, we're looping it three times on a hook. Taking another single band, once again looping it three times and that creates the paw. Taking two single bands and you can make your kitty whatever color you want and pulling all the loops off of our hook and onto the two single bands and center it taking two more single bands and getting the loops off of our hook and onto the two single bands and then getting everything onto a single band and we can tie it off in a loose slip knot to put it aside to add to a body later. For the whiskers, I'm taking two clear bands and I'm going to overlap it like that. And it, on my right finger, I'm going to grab the left band from underneath. And from the right side, I'm going to grab the other one in front of it like that. And essentially, I'm tying a slip knot. Pull it tight. So there's a whisker. For our ear, we're going to take a single band and looping it four times on the hook. Taking another single band, looping it four times on a hook. And getting all these loops onto a single band. And then let one side hang loose, taking a single band, the inside of our ear, mine's pink, looping it three times on the hook, and then getting the loop that's hanging right onto our hook. So there's our ear, and we'll get everything onto a single band, pulling all the loops off of our hook and onto that single band and tie a loose slip knot so our ear doesn't come off. Pause the video to make your second ear. For our cheek, we're taking a single band, looping it four times on the hook, taking a single band and pulling all those loops onto the single band. And once again, I'm making one of each of these, so you'll have to pause the video to make the second one. For the eye, I'm taking a single black band, looping it four times on the hook, taking an ocean blue, and you can make your eye whatever color you want, looping it twice on one side and twice on the other. Repeat for the other eye, looping a single black band four times on a hook taking a single ocean blue, looping it twice on one side and twice on the other. And you can also make your eye on the loom if you can't make it like this on the hook. And then pulling each eye onto a single band, the color of the face, and we'll set it aside to add to our body later. So 
So our body parts are done. Set it aside. Let's do the nose. We're taking a single pink band and you can make it whatever color you want. Looping it on the second peg from the bottom. Twist to the left, creating an X. Twist to the right and we're going to loop it back onto the second peg from the bottom. And we'll do that twice. Twist to the right again and looping it over the second peg from the bottom. So you have two loops up top and an X in the bottom. On the left side of your loom, you're going to grab the bottom single, loop up to the center, and repeat for the other single band. So there's your knot for your nose, and get it onto our hook. Taking a single band, the color of our face, and we're going to pull the loops off of our hook and onto that single band. So there's our nose, and with another pink band, we're going to tie the mouth, and you don't have to add this. And this creates that kitty mouth down there. So we're going to get our nose and put our hook through the center loops, getting the white bands onto a hook. Now grabbing the single pink band and we're going to pull the loops through so that's what it should look like and we're just going to tie a slip knot onto that single white band so that's what your nose should look like with the mouth attached and if you're confused please go ahead and rewatch the video and try it so that's what you have, three single bands. The first one we tied in a knot and getting it on a single white band. And then tying a slip knot using a single band to get it attached to the nose. Let's put it aside to add to the face later. Let's make our head. We're taking two single bands, looping it from one peg, cross in the center to the other one. And we'll do this three more times to cover six pegs, cross in the center, looping it to the other one, and our last two bands for row number one, looping it from one peg, cross in the center to the other one, covering six pegs. Row number two, we'll add our cheeks. We're looping it from the first side peg to the first center peg and repeat for the other cheek, looping it from the side to the center first peg. And for the rest, we're going to cover with a single band around our loom. Covering our six pegs. And let's put the nose with our mouth on it and we're going to attach it from the first side peg to the other first side peg. So that's what yours should look like. So now we're going to loop the bottom two bands up and over. And the first side peg, you should have three loops left. And the rest, looping the bottom two bands up and over, you should have two loops left on each peg. Push everything down. Let's expand. We're going to pull these two loops off of the center third, moving it to the center fourth, grabbing a single band off of the side second peg that's attached to the first and moving it to the third. So reaching in the side second peg, grab the top loop and check to make sure it's attached to the first, which this is, and I'm moving to the third leaving with a single loop on the second and third peg on the side. Let's repeat on the right side, grabbing the top single loop. Check to make sure it's attached to the first side peg, and this is not, so I'm going to hold it. Grabbing the other loop off, it's attached to the first, moving it to the third, and then reattaching the loop we took off first back onto the second side peg. So that's what yours should look like.
Now we're covering eight pegs. Row number three, we're going to add the eyes and we're looping it on the first center to the side first peg for both sides. And for the rest, we're going to take a single band, six of them, to cover our loom, and then looping the bottom bands up and over. The first side peg should have three loops. You're going to pull that up and over to the center, leaving two loops left per peg. The second and third should each have a loop, so pull that up and over, leaving two loops left on those pegs. And the first and the fourth center peg should have two loops to pull up and over to the center, leaving two loops on each of those pegs. Row number four, we're taking eight single bands to cover our eight pegs, and then looping the bottom two bands up and over. And you should have two loops left per peg. So go around all eight pegs. Pulling the bottom two loops up and over to the center. Leaving two loops left per peg. Push it down. Row number five, we'll add our ears. Taking our ears and we're going to loop it on the same pegs as our eyes from the first center to the side first peg for both sides. And for the rest, we're taking a single band to cover Our pegs and looping the bottom two bands up and over to the center. And once again, you should have two loops left per peg. That's our last row for our face. Let's take the two loops off of our eight pegs. I'm going clockwise and taking our face off the loom. And let's stuff our face, taking some bands and pushing it into our face so it's nice and round. Don't overstuff it. You can stuff it with whatever you have. Taking a single band and pulling the loops off of, of our hook and onto our single band. And tying it off in a slip knot. And you can tuck in the charm string. Or you can leave it if you're just making the head charm then you're done. You just need to fix the ears, pull the nose out, make sure you pull the mouth, pull the nose out in between. And fix your eyes so it looks right. It's not too bulging out of our face. Tuck in the charm string.
once you get the kitty to how you want her eyes and ears and everything to look, we can cut this band in the center and we tuck the mouth in on the sides to give that kitty smile or mouth. Just hide the bands, repeat for the other side. So there's my kitty's face so far and let's add the whiskers and we're going to fish our hook through our cheek and you have to be very careful with this and out the other side there's going to be a lot of bands so make sure you don't get it twisted in there getting our cheek onto a hook and we're going to fish it through our face to the other side, center it, and cut our whiskers. So there's your kitty's face so far, and once again you can just adjust the eyes and nose, everything, the ears, to the way you want her to look. Now let's add the body. We're going to go to the back of the head, right in the center. We're not going to grab the bottom. So we're going to put our hook through the back of her head, and I'm going to pull about eight loops onto my hook like that so there's my kitty's face the back of her head and you want it centered taking four single bands and we're going to get all those loops off of our hook and onto the four single bands pull it through our head very carefully don't let it tangle with any other bands and let's attach it to a loom with our kitty's face at the neck facing up and her looking out one side onto the center first peg and the other side onto the left second peg so that's what yours should look like and that's where your kitty should be looking with the mouth up we're going to pull the top two loops off of the center first peg and attaching it to the right first peg. Pulling two loops off of the left second peg and we're going to attach it to the center third peg. So now we've covered four pegs and that's what yours should look like. Taking two more single bands for this row, row number one. We're going to loop it from one peg, twist in the center to cover the other peg across from it. And we've covered six pegs. Now take six single bands for row number two. We're going to cover our six pegs and then looping the bottom two bands up and over to the center leaving two loops left per peg. Push it all down. Check to make sure you have two loops on each pegs. Now we're going to expand. Once again, we're going to pull the two loops off of the center third, moving it to the center fourth, grabbing a single loop off of the second side peg that's attached to the first and moving it to the third. It's going to the side second peg, pull the top loop off, 
and check to make sure it's attached to the first, which this is, and moving it to the third. Now the second and third peg each has a loop. Repeat on the other side, grabbing the top loop off, and this one is not attached to the first, so you hold it, grabbing the other loop off. It should be attached to the first and moving it to the third and then reattaching the one you took off first back onto the second side peg. Now we've covered eight pegs in the second and third peg for both sides should have a single loop. Row number three we're going to add our legs, undo our loose slip knot and we're attaching it onto the first left to the center first peg and our second leg onto the second to third peg on our left side of our loom. Make sure our legs are pointing outwards and for the rest of our pegs we're taking a single band to cover the rest of our eight pegs and then we'll loop the bottom two bands up and over to the center. The second and third peg should each have a loop to pull up and over to the center, leaving two loops left on each peg. Repeat that on the right side, and for the rest you just have two loops to pull up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. Push it down, that was row number three. Rows four and five, we're taking eight single bands to cover our eight pegs. And then looping the bottom two bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. And this is pretty repetitive. We're just taking eight single bands to cover our eight pegs and then going to each of the eight pegs, grabbing the bottom two bands up and over. And you should have two loops left on each peg. So I'm going to fast forward through rows four and five and come back when I'm done. Row number six, we'll add our last set of legs. Once again, attaching it onto the two same pegs as the other legs from the first center to the left first peg. Make sure it's not twisted. And the other one from the second to third left peg on our loom. And taking a single band six of them to cover the rest of our eight pegs and looping the bottom two bands up and over leaving two loops left per peg push everything down and let's make our tail. We're taking a single band, skip one from the first to the second peg in the center and the second to the third and we'll come diagonally. Come down three times on the left side with a single band. Coming down twice on the center. So that's what yours should look like. Coming diagonally out to the right from the fifth center out. And we'll come down once on the right hand side. Come down two times down the center of our loom and then closing it off diagonally from the outside pegs to the center peg. 
So that's what yours should look like. Taking a single band, we're creating a triangle for a holding band right there. Taking another single band, twist double, and we'll create our triangle here on these three pegs. So that's what your tail should look like. Taking a single band and let's cap off the end peg by looping it three times. So that's one, two, three. So that's our tail so far. Let's loop up. We're going to go under the cap band, grabbing the top single and loop up. And you see the teardrop, take it there. Continue up the right side, grabbing the bottom single and loop up to the center peg. Now let's go back under the cap band, grabbing the next top single and mine's going to the left, looping it there and let's finish up the left side. We're always grabbing the bottom single and looping it up and onto itself. Make sure you pull back any holding bands, grabbing the bottom single and loop to the center peg, the center third peg from where our tail started. Now let's loop the center. We're going to go under the cap band, grabbing the bottom single, loop up the center and we'll loop it all the way to the top. Remember to pull back any holding bands and we want to only grab the bottom single to loop up and onto itself. Continue all the way to where we started our first peg for our tail. And let's take our tail off the loom. There's our tail. Let's connect it to these two loops off of the right third peg. So take the two loops off, pulling our tail, getting it onto those two loops. And let's just take our kitty cat off the loom. We're going to get the two loops. I'm going to go clock uh, counterclockwise. It's more comfortable. Make sure our legs are sticking out, grabbing the two loops off of the eight pegs, getting it onto a hook. And let's take our snow soft kitty off the loom. There she is. And let's stuff her. I'm using some cotton balls and you can use whatever you want. Just push it inside her body. But don't overstuff her. Then taking a single band and getting all the loops off of our hook and onto that single band to cinch her body off. Tuck in the slip knot band. So there she is. Make sure you scrunch her head so it's nice and round and fix her body and everything till it looks right. And pull her head up so she's looking a little bit forward. Fix her feet. So here are our snow soft kitties. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.